This is example 11 in the partial fractions topic. I've had a few examples now, example 9 and 10, looking at algebraic long division, and this is just a third one of the same, a wee bit of a, an additional teaching point here. So if I have a look at this, it says divide 3x cubed plus 7x minus 1 by x squared plus 3. And the, <coughs> the main difference here is that if you look down the x terms here, we've got an x cubed term, and we've got an x term, a constant term, but we have no x squared term. And we could say that there is literally no x squared term, 0x squared. And quite often it doesn't matter if you miss that out in your when you set out your long division, but occasionally it does. So it's a good plan just to always put it in, just in case. Right, so we're going to write this out as normal. We've got a division step. And underneath it, we'll put 3x cubed. I'm going to put in plus 0x squared plus 7x minus 1. And we're going to divide by x squared plus 3. Make that line a little bit longer. There we go. And we do our division calculation as we've been looking at in the previous examples. So this time we've got a 3x cubed. That's our highest order power. Um, the highest order term, 3x cubed. And we're going to divide that by x squared. And 3x cubed divided by x squared. It cancels out to be 3x. So we've got 3x that we're going to write down, and we'll put that above the 7x just to keep a kind of place value thing going on. So we multiply 3x by the divisor, which gives us 3x cubed. And then 3x times 3 is plus 9x. So we're going to do our subtraction calculation. Now you'll notice that in this case there isn't an x squared term, um, and that's fine, and we probably could get away without uh, writing that in on this occasion, but occasionally it does, as I say, so be prepared. If you notice there's a missing power, you stick it in. That goes 3x cubed minus 3x cubed goes to 0. Uh, we've got no x squared term either, so we've got 7x subtract 9x is negative 2 x. We've then got our negative 1 to bring down. But you'll notice that uh, already here we've got, we've got a negative 2x is the highest order term in our dividend that's remaining. And we cannot divide that by x squared because the, uh, the negative 2x is the term, the order is too low. It would need to be at least um, uh, an x squared term for us to do another division. So that's our remainder. Okay, so we have to leave it. Sometimes we do get a, a, an x term in our remainder. We haven't had that in the previous examples. So we have to leave it as that. And we can say that 3x cubed plus 7x minus 1 divided by x squared plus 3. Our quotient is 3x, and our remainder is negative 2x minus 1 over x squared plus 3. And I would normally put a, a plus sign in. And we've got two negative terms in our remainder. That's If we're going to leave it like that, that'd be a bit messy. If we were going on to find partial fractions, then that would be the way we would keep it and we would go on and explore what that is as partial fractions. So that's fine. I can leave it like that. If you weren't going on uh, as to leave it as partial fractions, then I would simplify that because we know that we've got a common factor of negative 1 in that expression there, which means that we could bring that negative sign down. But interestingly, then our term has a plus sign in it. So that would be a way to develop it if you were just looking to leave it as that. But because we're doing this 
exercise primarily to then create partial fractions from our solution, then this form is the one I would take forward because I would keep the negative 2x minus 1 as my numerator. Okay, so that's us done our examples of the algebraic long division. Go and practice that, and now we should be ready to go on to look at um, using partial fractions in improper rational functions. So we have to do this first. Good news.